Craving European food? The dishes discussed in this video might take away your appetite. Get ready to discover the most disgusting food that Europeans eat. Number 1. Arroz de Cabidea or Rice and Blood Well, this is the perfect dish for you daring eaters. The famous Portuguese Cabidea, a dish of rice cooked in the blood of a slaughtered chicken that would have made Vasco da Gama wince. When the animal is killed, the blood is drained and combined with vinegar. Yummy! Later, the remaining chicken flesh is added when the rice has darkened and has become creamy in texture. To give the dish a bit more greenery, they also add parsley. This dish dates back to the time when the Suebian and other tribes were accustomed to eating poorer cuts of beef that lived in the Iberian Peninsula. Cabidea splits taste and opinions among Portuguese locals and more adventurous guests. It's bizarre to some and flavorful to others. And if you are tired of the taste of chicken, Cabidea can also be made with blood from ducks or pigs. Number 2. Hakarl or Fermented Shark The one country that attracts many of us is Iceland. Well, apart from its greenery, you may have heard a thing or two about Icelandic foods. However, one food that you might never want to try there is Hakarl. Sharks are often regarded as dangerous animals. What about eating them? Don't worry, they're lying if they tell you that the best method to prepare a shark is to bury it in the ground, urinate on it, and let it rot for a while. Possibly, however, not for the reason you believe. The shark ferments instead of rotting. But the rest of the process is true. Before the development of modern cooking procedures, genuine urine was still used, though not now. Food had to be preserved for generations by the Icelanders through smoking, pickling, or drying. This may help to explain how they came up with the concept to consume fermented shark or hakarl as it is known to Icelanders. The concept may have originated from the fact that the shark does in fact smell like ammonia. Those who enjoy extremely strong cheese might enjoy it right away. Others, well, let's just say it's no longer a frequent dish. The older generation in Iceland is mostly the only group that still consumes it and reportedly like it. Number 3. Jellied Eels This one is really interesting. Jellied eels are chopped eels that are simmered in a flavorful stock and then served cold. This traditional meal, which was developed in London, is one of the oldest to still exist in the city today. Eels could be prepared inexpensively and simply by being chopped, boiling them in herbs, and then letting them cool. The eels would then make enough of their own gelatin to form a soft jelly around the pieces. This method was especially used by the working class people in the East End. If you ever get a chance to eat it out, let me know your experience. Number 4. Creadias or Bull's Testicles Creadias, commonly referred to as bull fries, are testicles from bulls that have been slain in a bullfight that have been floured and breaded. The testicles are pan-fried with garlic, oregano, and parsley after being cut into fillets. The testicles are barbecued balls in various restaurants because grilling them gives them a smokier flavor. Creadias occasionally use other animals' testicles, including pigs. It goes without saying that Spaniards think eating coveted bull testicles is a terrific way to show how tough you are. Therefore, swap out your Red Bull for a true hit of Spanish taurine the next time you're in Spain. I have seen it in a few local supermarkets, but I never bought it though. Number 5. Cuisse de Grenouille or Frog's Legs Who doesn't like Paris? Globally, French cuisine is renowned for its elegance and flavor. However, when it comes to the most famous food in France, you may be shocked to hear this out. Probably their most well-known dish is Cuisse de Grenouille. The history of this unusual snack dates back to the 12th century when church officials, concerned that the monks were becoming overweight, ordered them to avoid meat for a predetermined number of days each year. Frog's legs are now one of only two delicacies in France that, when mentioned, make people feel sick to their stomachs. The other dish is of course snails, which irrespective of their taste, are at least easier to catch. Number 6. Pig's Trotters or Pig's Feet Also known as crew beans, a term that is derived straight from the Irish Gaelic word kruibni, 
which literally translates to pig's feet. They can be eaten fried, grilled, or baked and are made from the feet of pigs, specifically down from the ankle. You should be aware that they are typically eaten with your hands if you feel like trying some. Yuck! When bacon factories started operating in Cork, Waterford, Limerick, Dublin, and Belfast in the late 1800s, crew beans became readily available in Ireland. Historians claim that on Saturday nights, large pots of pig's feet were prepared and served in the bars. The pub owners made a really smart business choice because crew beans are very salty and eating them makes you quite thirsty. However, as crew beans tend to be quite greasy and the grease taints on beer glasses are difficult to remove, many pubs have stopped serving it. Number 7. Smalahove or Sheep's Head Whoever has been to Norway knows that the variety of food is unbelievable. However, you might want to stay away from one food while visiting Norway. Have you ever eaten sheep? Well, many of you guys definitely have. But what about a sheep's head? Yes, you heard it right. When a Norwegian requests a head on a platter, they mean a sheep's head that has been cooked and placed on a plate. Imagine yourself eating it while singing Christmas carols because it's frequently served as the main course immediately before Christmas. The recipe is quite simple. The head of the butchered sheep is first divided in two. The brain is then removed, and the pieces are then submerged in water for two days. Nothing is taken away as the brain is cooked separately and served with the main course. The main delicacy is thought to be the tongue and the eyeballs. Strange stuff, isn't it? Number 8. Sir Stroming or Fermented Herring If there's one dish I will likely never eat in my life, it's this one. Want to know the reason? Consider the worst odor you can imagine. All you really need to know about Sir Stroming is how it is made. Small Baltic herring are gathered in the spring, salted, and allowed to ferment naturally before being stuffed into a tin to create this 5 century old Swedish delicacy. The sweet stuff is ready to go on sale in about a month. The tin continues to ferment or sour as the Swedes say, and begins to swell. To put it gently, the smell is awful. In fact, it's sometimes compared to the smell of rotten eggs and exposed sewer drains. Even well-known persons acknowledge that overeating Sir Stroming isn't a good idea, despite the fact that some people think the flavor is genuinely great. Number 9. Rossi Paru or Blood Potato Soup A soup that has blood potato in it. Weird, isn't it? The northern Finnish region of Ulu is known for its specialty known as Rossi Pot. In essence, the dish is a simple soup composed of potatoes, stock, pork, and, you guessed it, blood pudding. The pudding itself is prepared with rye, spices, and hog blood. The fact that beer can be added to any combination may provide some people comfort, but this won't significantly alter the flavor. Despite its strange name, blood sausage has a long history that dates back to a time when poor families had to make the most of every part of the animal. In any event, Rossi Padu is a favorite treat of many people in the Ulu area. A club even bears its name. Also, many parents pack this as a lunch for their children in school. Number 10. Free Candle Last but not least, this Dutch snack should be on this list for sure. A Free Candle special is a local Dutch snack served with mayonnaise, curry, and onions. This snack is essentially a deep-fried sausage. It's not just any deep-fried sausage, though. Free Candle is a lengthy skinless sausage made primarily of beef, hog, and poultry. In the realm of sausage, Free Candle is distinctive due to the skinless component and the composition of the sausage patty elements. Allspice, nutmeg, onion powder, and seasoning are ground with a lot of beef, pork, and poultry to make Free Candle. Before being put through a sausage stuffer, the meats and spices are mixed with a little whipped cream to help them stick together. The lengthy sausages, which may be up to 10 inches long, are then boiled and fried to create a deliciously crisp surface each mac lick. Now that you've heard about these disgusting foods, you will definitely appreciate the food that you eat at home. That's the end of the video, guys. Which one did you feel was the worst? What's your favorite European cuisine? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Till then, see you all and have a good day.